Hello, welcome back to another one of Paul's beer reviews. I hope you're doing well today. Uh, I've got an IPA uh, for you to review. It's an IPA from Wildcard Brewery. This one's available with Tesco, £3 a pop, and it's a can of their Ella IPA. Um, apparently it's National IPA Day and something like that today, so um, this is fitting. So yeah, this is a 5.7% ABV IPA. It says it's uh, an IPA packed with Ella, Sabro and Citra hops. Contains water, barley, wheat, oats, hops and yeast. 440ml can. Um, obviously Wildcard Brewery from uh, London. There's the artwork on this can. Um, they do tend to do quite interesting artwork on their cans. Um, not really sure what's going on with this one, but um, there it is. So anyway, and this was uh, yeah, sure, this was three pound a pop in Tesco. This came out in their last uh, new release range. So uh, yeah, so let's get this IPA out of the can into my trusty glass and see if she's any good. It's a bit of a lively pour. And she's developing quite a nice big head. I'll leave that there for now until she dies down. Um, lovely looking colour to it. Um, looks like uh, it's got a real kind of orange squash kind of look to it. Apart from all the bubbles and the three finger massive fluffy white head. Um, that does look good. Really good levels of carbonation on that one. But yeah, gold as you like. Quite pale looking for an IPA. Um, yeah, let's get a bit more in the glass. Top it up a bit. But, um, she's lively. She is lively. Really good levels of carbonation on this one. Get it out of the way. But I like the colour. And I love that head. That does look good. Let's get the aroma. I'm getting citra hops and I'm getting sabro hops straight away. There's orange. There's tangerine. Smells lovely. There's a little bit of grapefruit, a bit of lime, a little bit of mango on the aroma. Oh, smells absolutely gorgeous. A little bit of coconut as well. Oh, I've got to get stuck in. Cheers, guys. Oh, you beauty. It's got a lovely mouthfeel. Lovely, thin, yet ever so slightly creamy mouthfeel. The flavour coats your palate. Oh, that combination of citra and sabro hops is absolutely beautiful. Wonderful cit citrus sweetness on it. Mm. Really nicely carbonated. There is only the slightest, and I do mean the slightest bit of bitterness to speak of, and you only really get that bitterness from the hops when the carbonation rush comes up. Um, other than that, it's all citrus fruit. It's got a lovely kind of um, sort of squash or concentrated fruit juice type uh, mouthfeel to it like you've added water to you know concentrated fruit juice um, but the flavours are immense on it this is absolutely gorgeous this is lovely and on a warm day like it is, it's muggy as you like at the moment. It's kind of got muggier and muggier as the day's gone along. This beer is refreshing as it comes, or as they come. This is spot on, really enjoying this. It has that sort of creamy mouthfeel with the citra hops. Obviously the oats give it that kind of slight, kind of thick, um, that slight thickness. I mean, I say thickness, it, don't get me wrong, it's not thick, it's not gloopy, it's not particularly sticky or anything like that. But the oats in it just give it enough body 
just for that flavor, just to help that flavor really coat your mouth. And it works really nice with the Sabro hops because the Sabro hops, traditionally you get a bit of a coconut flavor from the Sabro hops and you are getting that. And the oats and the vanilla really enhance that flavor to go with the citra, lovely. tangerine, orange, mango, a little bit of lime, getting that coconut feeling now just as the carbonation rush and sort of comes in and the, the, the oats kind of wrap the flavour around your palate, that's so drinkable and like there is that slightest bit of bitterness from the hops that's just sort of laying Kind of very quietly underneath all of the other fruit, fruitness and sweetness and that. But the whole time, the whole time, it's not overpowering. It's not like a New England IPA where the hops are really in your face and it's overly sweet or anything like that. It's gentle. It's balanced, it's refreshing, it's thirst quenching. It's got a beautiful, fruity, yet creamy flavour throughout. I was really looking forward to this one when I first found out it was coming out. And when I found out it had Citra and Sabro hops in it, I thought, I've got to get a hold of one of them. And as per usual, my local Tesco didn't get them in. So I had to go out of my way to grab them. And... Um, like they say good things come to those who wait this is well worth the money well worth the money if you spot this in your local tesco and you like a nice citrusy refreshing ipa and if you're not too keen on your bitterness maybe this is the one for you and especially when the weather is the way it is now it's meant to be an absolute scorcher this weekend so if you see this video and you're going near a tesco in the next 24 hours or so buy a basket full of these <laughs> I could see myself sat back on a beach somewhere, sicking, sipping a few of these. Sicking? I don't know, I've only had one. Um, you're getting none of the 5.7% ABV, I must say. This is drinking more like a 4.5%, 5 at a push. That's never a 5.7% ABV beer. But I could, I could happily see myself sitting there beside a swimming pool or on the beach with a, an icebox full of these. I'd be happy as Larry, whoever he is. Um, yeah, it, it's smashable, ridiculously smashable. Oh, lovely, lovely every time. Um, I've not got a bad word to say about it, really. The only slight negative I could possibly use against this beer is that there's very little in the way of bitterness on it and um, I personally do like a little bit of a bitterness with an IPA regardless of the style I still think the best New England IPAs are the one that have a bitter kick in the end of it um, but that's probably why the West Coast is my my personal preference um, but the bitterness on this is very subtle it's firmly kind of trapped underneath the the fruit and the vanilla and the coconut and that real sabro citrus combination it, it the, the bitterness is firmly stuck under that but it is there it is there there is a subtle backbone of bitterness in this beer which might be just enough it's certainly enough for me to make me want to go out and buy this again i'm actually really really keen to go out and buy this again um so keen in fact I might even go down to Tesco this evening and buy a load more um, and I think that's I think that's enough said really if this is a beer that I want to go out and buy again straight away and drink again straight away it's win win um, if it had a teeny tiny little bit more bitterness in it this would be the perfect beer and because of that I'm going to give it a nine and a half but this is stunning Make no mistake about it, this is a stunning, stunning beer. Down the edge. That's how good it was. Way too easy to drink. 
So once again, Ella IPA by Wildcard Brewery. Three pound a can in Tesco. I recommend everyone goes out and buys one of them. Um, if you do, leave a comment below. Let me know what you think of it. If you've already have it, if you already had it, let me know what you thought of it. Be really interested to uh, hear your opinions as ever. And uh, thank you to everyone who's been leaving their comments lately. It's really good to hear from you all. And uh, let me know what you'd like me to drink. I'm trying to get through your requests. So thank you for those. Keep them coming. And uh, like I say, until my next one, guys, you take care of yourselves, take care of each other. I'll see you soon.